Inside MSG PM presented for the people by Caesar Sportsbook. Your app is ready, Emperor. I'm Michelle Jingris alongside Kazim Famuide. How we doing, my friend? Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. It's Friday Eve. I'm excited. It's good to have you yes. back on the show. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. But talk to me. I think we got a big guest today. So do the honors, Michelle. Who do we big got? Big guest. Big guest. We're getting in the mix today with Devils defenseman P.K. Subban. We have a lot to talk about with him. That's going to be an incredible segment coming up that you will not want to miss. But we're also going to talk a little Jets. They've got a big game coming up this week, trying to get a little redemption here. We'll see how that one goes for them. Um, I know you've got your fingers crossed on that. <laughs> uh, I got everything crossed. I got my fingers crossed. I got my I legs know. crossed. My toes crossed. Like, yeah, yeah. We need, we need to turn it around soon. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Good opportunity for them. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there later on. But let's begin with some NFL news because it was 20 years ago today, believe it or not, it's <laughs> insane when you think about it in that context, Oof. that <laughs> Drew Bledsoe was sidelined with a very, very severe leg injury and the Tom Brady error was born. We talked about this on the show a couple weeks ago, just what this really meant. These three figures, Bill Belichick, Drew Bledsoe, and Tom Brady all in the hospital room together, and it really was just a passing of the torch in a way, even if Drew Bledsoe wasn't really ready, and, and maybe Tom Brady didn't even know if he was completely ready. I mean, he looked like he was on the field. Uh, but iconic time and obviously since then has since evolved and continues to evolve but one person who said that Bill Belichick didn't think was really evolving was his trainer Alex Guerrero saying basically here's the quote as you can see saying basically if, to paraphrase here more or less Bill never really let his emotions or feelings evolve with age in time as Tom got into his late 30s or early 40s Bill was basically still trying to treat him like the 20 year old kid that he drafted basically saying that you know what players knew Tom was different and if Bill Belichick would have acknowledged that as well it would have been fine so what do you make of all of this M Michelle I I see both sides here right like shout out to you know the TB12 operator himself uh, Tom Brady's <laughs> the trainer mastermind. Who, he's the mastermind <laughs> yeah. so I mean hey until Tom Brady retires I take his word as bond uh, but I see both sides here right um, we've all been in situations where you want to be treated like somebody with more responsibility whether it's your parents whether it's your coaches I'm not that little kid anymore I can do this on my own on the other side, I think he might be just a little bit out of line because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Bill Belichick won how many Super Bowls doing things his way? Exactly, right? Like, he hasn't really had a lot of time yet to prove that him not evolving has really cost him. Because last year, let's all be honest, it's, I know it's a big more, it makes it a little bit more glaring that Tom Brady won a Super Bowl. But the Patriots lost half of that incredible defense through the COVID protocols. A lot of – they had the Cam Newton situation going along. Mm -hmm. That was a typical Bill Belichick-type team. Now you're seeing Bill Belichick with his guys, with his quarterback, and they look – pretty good to me so i think yeah. that dude should kind of keep his words nice and short and sweet because in two weeks when the buccaneers roll up to foxborough and take on bill belichick again i hope and i pray it's going to be something that we remember for a long time because i know bill belichick is petty and he wants that win more than <laughs> oxygen probably so yes. we're gonna see who evolved then buddy yes yeah <laughs> You know what? You hit the nail on the head with that. Like, I'm a Saints fan growing up, but I'm a little worried about that week three matchup between the Saints and the Patriots. Mac Jones looks good. The team looks very together on the Patriots, and it's a new look team. You know, it's funny. I was watching, like, it's some of the game, and there were people holding up, uh, you know, uh, different little sayings and mm -hmm. signs that said, we're back. And all of a sudden, I was like, oh, my God, don't put the cart before the horse. But, <laughs> but it is exciting. You can tell that there is excitement around this Patriots team. And my take Take on this whole thing with Bill Belichick not really evolving is that Bill Belichick is who he is he is a team guy he is all about you know how the Patriots are run no one is above the team on that or in that organization so maybe as Tom Brady started to evolve and become this personality this figure that was kind of larger than life maybe in a way this was was Belichick's way of kind of trying to I'm not saying it's the right way mm. but a way of keeping him grounded or at least thinking you know you're not ever going to be too big in my eyes that you're too big for this moment 
and the moment and the team is bigger. I don't know. That's that's my little take on Michelle, that. Michelle, I'm sure you've dealt with breakups before. I've dealt with breakups before. Sometimes it's best for everybody to just go their own separate ways and grow. It's not your fault. It's not my fault. It's just time. And I think it was just time for both of them to go their separate ways. Yeah, I mean, or fire passive aggressive shots on social media. But, I mean, either way, they both work just as well. Either way, <laughs> let's move on quickly. Caesar Sportsbook odds, because before we get to that week four matchup, the Patriots have an interesting week three matchup. I'm sorry, not the Patriots. Buccaneers have an interesting week three matchup against the Rams. Right now, the Bucks are at minus 1.5 to defeat the Rams. So basically, two points are over. You win your money. What do you think here? I, I have some I have some thoughts. I have some first. thoughts too. This is the first time Tom Brady's playing football in Hollywood, if you can believe that or not. And on top of that, you know, this is the only game of the season that the Buccaneers are not favored to win, right? So there's all this talk about, well, if they beat the, the Rams and they beat the Patriots, maybe they run the table. Maybe this is the one thing that's keeping Tom Brady playing for 20 plus years. He still can't get the shadows and the echoes of the voices of Luke losing that giant Super Bowl and losing that perfect season. I personally think that is the one thing Brady wants to check off in his career box. He wants to have that perfect season before he can call it a wrap. So I think every game is going to be big. This Rams defense is no joke. Aaron Donald gives me nightmares, and I'm pretty sure he gives Tom Brady nightmares as well. Uh, but mm -hmm. I'm going to think the Buccaneers pulled this Ooh. one off. I think Tom Brady playing in Hollywood in the bright lights is something that he wants to do and I'm looking forward to it. All right, before we wrap the show, because we got to move on, I'm going to give you my take at the end there. But but what do we have coming up? Because I know we have an exciting chat with P.K. Subban. That's right. We got P.K. Subban, New Jersey Devils defenseman. Can't wait for you guys to talk. It was an incredible talk. And uh, not just on hockey, but race, everything. But New York City, don't go nowhere, because he's here right after the break.